What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a manager's costly mistake at work. It cost the boss a lot of money and it was because he just didn't know what the hell to do and it just cost a lot of money in the long run. It was a lot of screw ups, a lot of dicking around and it could have been prevented. It just wasn't. So let's just get into today's story. So this story is relatively new. It happened between December 2017 and January 2018, so wasn't that long ago. And what happened was a customer brought and booked in his uh, Chrysler 300 for an oil change and a battery change. And whenever he brought his vehicle in that day to get the work done, he handed his keys to the manager. The manager looked at the work order and just asked him, so it's here for a battery? And the customer said, yes. The customer might not have been paying attention, but in my opinion, it's not the customer's fault. It's wrote on the work order, and that's what the manager should have looked at, that it was in for an oil change and a battery. And instead, he just grabbed the keys, grabbed a battery, grabbed the work order, gave it to the mechanic, and said it's here for a battery. The mechanic could have looked at the work order as well and seen that it says oil change, but honestly, it is our job that whoever gets the keys to explain and relay that information to the mechanic because sometimes it is hard for a mechanic to look at her work order which is not something they do often and exactly know what it means that is written in there so we're verbally supposed to tell a mechanic what to do and my manager only told him to do an battery replacement so that's what the mechanic did the customer apparently watched the mechanic only changed the battery and never mentioned anything about an oil change and whenever it was done, another lady actually closed the work order and she didn't know the oil change hadn't been done. So she finished it up and she put him through the cash and he paid for an oil change and a battery changeover. A couple days later, the vehicle gets towed back in and it is because the oil change hadn't been done. He actually ran out of oil because he wasn't maintaining the vehicle on his own, which is another reason why we tried to get out of the situation. Um... The, the oil, I guess there was no oil left in it. And if we would have done the oil change that day, it would have been fine and dandy. But because we didn't, it burnt out and it actually seized up the engine and completely destroyed the engine. So we got the vehicle back. We looked into it. We looked at the footage and uh, basically the, man, the one manager and the boss came to the conclusion that it's not our problem. We were not maintaining the vehicle. Even though we didn't do the oil change, we never touched anything with the oil. We only did the battery. So if the engine screwed up because you never got an oil change in a really long time and there's no oil in the engine, that's your problem. The customer actually went ahead and got his uh, lawyer involved and we just didn't want to deal with the legal issues. Um, so we decided, okay, we'll just replace the guy's engine and we'll send him on his way. That way we don't have to pay all the legal fees. So... That's what we attempted to do. And this is where the manager screwed up again. Um, he called around and instead of uh, calling around to multiple places to look for an engine, he called one that is about, I would say roughly 45 minutes away from us, got an engine from them. And because it was cheap, he got it. Um, problem is it was over Christmas that this happened. So with the holiday where we're getting it from, they couldn't bring it to us right away anyways it's over the holidays their guys are on um vacation they're on holidays right now too they can't just come back to get an engine for us get it ready and do the test for it and send it to us so the customer was pissed but either way he had to wait for it so it's nothing we could do it was out of our hands uh after the christmas holidays we got the engine we looked at it and we realized it's the wrong one. So this is engine number one. The transmission, I guess, for that vehicle for that year, there's multiple transmissions. So the engine had to hook up to a specific transmission. And we didn't realize it at the time. It was, uh, I guess, a six speed and we needed a four speed or something like that. Um, so basically it was just the wrong engine. So we had to get an, another man. Uh, the manager had to get another engine and that cost more time and more money. So we explained, the boss basically explained that to the lawyer. They weren't too happy. They're telling us it has to get done. Get it done as soon as you can. It's not their screw up. It's our screw up. And it was. Um, so what had happened was we ordered another engine. Now, because it's going into the New Year's now, 
they're also going to be on holidays as well for New Year's. So they're not going to be back until just a little after New Year's, which sucks, but we had to wait. The customer had no choice either, and that's what we did. So we got a second engine. Now what happens with the second engine is just blows my mind. We got it in, hooked it all up, put it in the vehicle. Uh, the mechanics did, not me, but hooked it all up, got it ready, went to start it, would not start. Couldn't figure out why. So we ordered in a nether uh, starter for it. We didn't order in another engine at the time. We were already two engines into it. So we decided, the mechanic decided to make the call that we needed a new starter for it. So we ordered a starter, a brand new starter from our parts place, part source, which is owned by Canadian Tire as well. And we got it the next day and we put it on, or the, me the mechanic put it on and it still wasn't starting. So he said the starter we got from part source was a dud. So we already have two engines, one starter. Um, so we ordered a second one. Got the second one, put it on, same thing happened. So he tried to say that that's two duds, which working in automotive into the service part and parts, honestly, you might find that if we get a part in, one might be a dud, but if we get a second one in and it's still not working, there's another issue. It's not the part, because we're not gonna get two duds back to back. It's rarely happens. So we knew right then that the mechanic, there was something else happening with the engine. So we just kind of, uh, fix it. So we actually called uh, Dodge because it's a Chrysler. So we called the local dealership and they said that it's really weird with that year's engine. The starter has to be perfectly aligned. It can't be off the slightest. It has to be aligned when it's on the vehicle so it can start properly. The mechanic didn't believe us. He tinkered with it a lot and we ended up having to get a third engine because he honestly just didn't know what the hell he was doing. Um, and it's kind of funny cause that's our only mechanic, but so we got a third engine and what happened to when it came same as the first engine, it was just a different transmission. It was, it wasn't the same exact engine as the first one, but it was the same problem. It was not meant for this vehicle, for this transmission we had. So we had to order a fourth engine in, we got the fourth engine in it wouldn't start over, it wouldn't work, and we had to order a fifth engine in. So already, we're in the hole, we're costing a lot of money, we've went five engines in, we went two starters in, and we're, cost, we're paying for the lawyer fees for the customer, we're paying his rental for a whole month, because it took a whole month to finish it, and that, cost, that started costing the boss a lot of money. So he started to blame all of us, even though it was my day off, I got some heat for it. Everybody got some heat for it because they're saying it's a problem. We're not um, relaying the right information. It could have been avoided. But honestly, it wasn't our fault. It was our manager's fault. He is not, he hasn't been with Canadian Tire too long and he just doesn't know what the hell to do ever. So five engines in, two starters. Uh, if he would have just ordered one from the US, which is where we did, it cost a little bit more for the engine. I think it cost like $300 more. But in the long run, it would have saved us having to pay the lawyer fees, having to pay the shipping for the five engines, the two starters, and paying the rental. So it would have saved us money down the line anyways. He got cheaper ones, and they were the wrong ones, so we had to spend a little bit more to get the right engine. We got it in, hooked it up, and it still wouldn't work. We couldn't figure it out why. We actually think it was something with the transmission at this point, so we called a local transmission shop, they brought some guys out, they tinkered with it, and within 10 minutes of them coming up, they got it started right away. Problem was, our mechanic, who, as I've already said, is not, I guess, the greatest, he put the transmission lines on backwards. And they don't even know how he did it, because it's like putting a square onto a triangle hole, kind of like the blocks in kindergarten. It's just not going to go, and he managed to force it in. So they fixed that, got it up running. The guy came, uh, wasn't too happy. He didn't seem like the brightest of the customer. He thought that it just wasn't working and the mechanic tried to say it's because it's a new engine, it takes some time. Um, and also he said that all the lights on the dash came on as soon as he started it up and he thought that was a problem. With most vehicles, whenever you start it up right away, um, the dash lights come on, most vehicles all of that comes on. It's just like it's the vehicle's woken up 
everything's going to turn on. So that's what was happening. Um, so this is kind of the story of a huge uh, costly mistake my manager did. It could have been avoided. It literally took us five engines, hundreds of phone calls, two starters. Boss had to pay the rental for one whole month, lawyer fees for one whole month. Had to pay the shipping back and forth for the five engines. It was just so much stuff that could have been avoided. And it is honestly hilarious. It was a shit show. And honestly, the whole month that happened between December and January, it was hilarious to me. Like we couldn't, like I couldn't help but laugh at the situation. It wasn't my fault. And I knew I wouldn't make a huge screw up like that. So that's something I've never done. I've never had a big screw up like that. There's minor stuff, but... This is something that it's just because you just don't know what you're doing that that's what the whole the reason it happened. It wasn't it wasn't an odd thing or it wasn't something he just was a fluke. It was just he had no clue what he was doing. And in the end, this is what happens. So hope you guys did like the story time. This is the juiciest thing. Honestly, I can say I have from work that has happened. I hope you guys did like this video. I do hope you guys like me whenever I'm talking about work because I do hope to leave there soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.